Hello students and welcome, welcome to topic 15 of alternative and renewable energy sources. The topic we will be covering is designing geothermal heat pumps with RET screen. Open RET screen 4 and select the C product database. Select combine heat and power, heat pump, round source, and then click the check mark. Select climate data location. Select Dayton, Ohio and change units to Imperial. Then click the check mark. Return to start page. Go to load and network page, one, change units to feet, two, enter home square footage, three, change to natural gas, 100 cubic feet, four, enter the furnace efficiency, five, the unit, change the units to BTUs per hour square foot, six, enter the number that represents the insulating efficiency of the home ranging from 10 for very good to 20 for very poor. Seven, enter the number that represents the hot water use, 20% for a lot of hot water and 10% for very little hot water. Eight, enter the cost of natural gas. Continue to fill in the load network page. Nine, change units to feet. 10, enter the square footage of the home. 11, enter the number represents the home efficiency. Five for poor insulation and 2.5 for very good insulation. 12, enter the cost of kilowatt hour of electricity. And 13, click on the energy model to go to the next page. On the energy model page, click on the C product database. Fifteen, select ground source. Sixteen, select the manufacturer you wish. And then seventeen, the model or unit number. The number on the energy model page must be greater than 100%, but should be less than 125%. On the energy model page, 19, enter the cost per kilowatt hours times 1,000. Number 20, the, number, the numbers will fill in with that model selection. 21, click on the C product database again to select the heat pump for the heating. It should be the same unit as before. Twenty-two, these numbers fill in with a selection. Again, it should be the same unit as before. Twenty-three, enter five or ten or twenty for the kW kilowatts, whatever it takes to fill the graphs to the right to 100%. Then click on Tool to go to that page. Twenty-five, click on the C product database and select the same unit as before. And 26, these numbers will fill in with that selection. 27, from the loaded network page, locate the 80 million, 80 million BTUs. Divide the 80 million by 3,412 as BTUs per kilowatt hour and divide by 8,760 days in a year to arrive at 2.7.
28. Again, from the loading network page, locate the 1800, that's a refrigeration ton hours, and multiply it by 12,000 BTUs per ton hour. Divide it by 3,412 BTUs per kilowatt hours, and three, the COP, and finally by 8,760 hours in a year to obtain 0.24. Back to the tool page again, select the type of soil. Change the units, the degrees to degrees Fahrenheit and to feet. 32, change the number on the left to match the numbers on the right. 33, select the type of earth contact horizontal, vertical, etc. 34, match the number on the left to the number on the right. This is a required land area. It can be slightly larger. And 35, select standard. The system is now designed. If there are any questions, please post them on the eLearn help discussion.